back to Marvelous Monday for Cage Inc. Yes, we're doing a Marvelous Monday video again. Hope you guys enjoyed the last one. Now, my biggest concern is he was not he's not very happy about this. Why does Fox has to ruin my hopes and dreams with these rumors? So what are the rumors, Danny? What uh, what what may possibly Fox ruin with this upcoming X Men film? Dark Phoenix. You know, come on. I don't I don't want to see scrolls. No, I. If you have scrolls, just let them show up like one or two scrolls. Not supposedly a rumor, a scroll invasion. Like, mm -hmm. I guess there's another way for Fox to say, well, we still own these rights. We're gonna put the scrolls in the X Men movie when it makes no sense. So, like, uh, like, uh, you know, for people that don't know, like, what, what are the scrolls and why are they important and why do, why do both. Marvel and Fox have the rights to both these games. Uh, yeah, characters. Scrolls is supposed to be in a Captain Marvel movie. Mm -hmm. And it's supposed to be a rumor that after Phase 3, going Phase 4, might have something called Secret Invasion. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much the Scrolls. Yeah. You have these Scrolls that can actually change into other characters, like, something like Black Panther, yeah. Shapeshifters, pretty much. You know? My thing is that. If you want to have scrolls in X Men, yeah, have one of them look like one of the X Men characters, and then like, oh, it's just a random scroll. But I do not want to see a scroll invasion that will probably push Jean Grey to activate her Phoenix Force and then go dark. Like, I hope so, that's so not like, the story. I mean, like, uh, like I want to, uh, because first I don't really care. But like, why, why does it upset you like to have both scrolls on the Marvel? I'm Cinematic Universe, Cinematic Universe, and the Fox Cinematic Universe. Well, I don't mind it, but it just... I don't know, I feel I, like... I think, I think you do. I feel like Scrolls sh shouldn't be rumored. Like, it shouldn't be in the X-Men movie. Mm -hmm. Like, I want the Shi'ar Empire mm -hmm. to show up. I want Star Jammers. I want the other set of characters that you knew that was part of the Dark Phoenix storyline. Yeah. Like, if there's some way they could recast the Wolverine, Yo, do it, cause I need Wolverine in this movie too. <laughs> you think they're gonna bring him back? Oh, I, I mean, it will make sense, you know, cause we don't know when the X Men movie, uh, Dark Phoenix, what takes place. Mm -hmm. We're assuming it's like mid '90s, and by that time, Wolverine would have been on the team. Yeah. So it's just we don't know if they're gonna cast a younger guy, or they're gonna cast. I mean, like they could cast you, Hugh Jackman, like that's be honest. He looks like a good, you know. Yeah. Be you know, you're a little younger, you're supposed to make up with him to be on his face. Because he's ripped, so like, okay, this is how be. Yeah. But, I don't know, it's like, they kind of, I mean, it's just like they kind of, like, put this up in the corner because they can't use Wolverine. They could, because time wise it makes sense. Right. But Hugh Jackman, they say he's done. He doesn't want to do anymore. I think it's, I think they should cast it. It would be great, but I don't know, you're right. You're right, like, are they gonna have a Wolverine in this movie too? That's mm -hmm. my biggest concern. Because, um, because you know, because you know, this, this year's Logan was a fantastic movie and a great send off to the character, and, and, and it kind of will leave a bad taste in people's mouth if like, what two, two years? Well, like, yeah, a year later, like oh, Hugh Jackman's back already. And like, well, what? Did they they like nah, give the character they a break. Need, yeah, they definitely need to recast a Wolverine. Like at least have him show up in the middle of the movie, something like. I mean, like after twenty minutes into the. Or is it the official Dark Phoenix movie? Mm -hmm. It's a title or Phoenix. That's what I'm looking at at this point. Yeah. But it's like, well, you need, you need the. I feel like you need the main X Men core because if you, I know they're never gonna go by the comic books. Yeah. Even MCU don't go by the comic books. But I feel like you're definitely gonna need Storm, Jean Grey, Cyclops, Beast, and Wolverine. Mm -hmm. You got you have Colossus in there. It'll be great. Um, they already have Nightcrawler. That's actually a plus for me. Uh, Angel. If Angel shows up again after Apocalypse, that'd be awesome too. Yeah, but. And then they're talking about they having Magneto returning. So. I mean, you know, it's, it's still rumors. We still know what the plot of the movie is. We just know that it's, they're most likely gonna try to adapt uh, the Darkness Saga story. But, you know, same with MCU. MCU takes some of the title from its comic books, but they don't really follow them. Yeah, 100%, but they're kind of somewhat close. That's what I like about MCU. 
somewhat. Like, yeah, I'm a little disappointed they didn't say Ant Man created Ultron until it was pretty much Iron Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, I'm okay with that because I know why they did that for a reason. But, like, I don't know. Scrolls to be an X Men? Yes, and no. But it's like, I really want the Shi'ar Empire. I want the Star Jammers. I want that whole storyline to mm -hmm. kick in because. They said, um, there's one actress, she's like, well, I am not who you think I'm going to be in this movie. I'm somebody else. And they didn't remember being who she's going to be. So I was like, oh, damn. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's my rant about hmm. the rumors. You? Uh, I got two main stories. Uh, so far, mm, Thor Ragnarok's coming out next month. We're really excited for this movie. You know, I love the marketing. love what I've seen so far of that movie. And... Like Marvel does, whenever they have they have a good sense that the movie is good, they have reviewers and critics go watch it. You know, weeks early, but I don't think I've ever seen them review a movie a month before release. To the point that you know they got positive reviews. People really enjoy this movie. Cause they, uh, cause it's the best Thor movie ever. <laughs> I mean, I mean that's not that's not really saying much. But yeah. you know, people saying that like they like the comedy, but they also like the dark elements and the stakes in this movie. Mm -hmm. So I mean that for me, like I was really looking forward to this movie. I wasn't I wasn't expecting it was gonna be anything less than good. Mm -hmm. So that, that was for me. That's you know looking positive for for this movie. And today, as of recording this video, you know we don't record them. The day that the movie releases, the Punisher trailer came out. Yeah. And it gave you a release date. For I was November, shocked. For November 17th. So yeah. next month as well. Yeah, they're actually going forward with it since, you know, the Vegas shooting. There, those rumors they were going to delay until 2018. Mm -hmm. But, yes, I want to see the Punisher. I'm glad. Uh, my thing with the Punisher, I hope to see some new characters, but I doubt it. I could, they could mention like what like who you would like to see in this Moon Knight. Um, but here's the thing though, I Moon don't Knight. Know. Moon Knight is actually a former soldier too. Okay. So there's I, I could there's, see like a like a little cameo thing where they mention the character's name or yeah. rank, but I don't think I guess I feel like not the, yeah I don't think they're gonna have official Moon Knight, but they'll have go, some yeah, yeah. somebody who represent. Is an actual person, even though Moon Knight has about two or three different personalities and two different like names. Yeah. But yeah, have him as his soldier mm -hmm. persona actually show up in this. Mm -hmm. I would be like, yo. That'd be cool. Uh, because not only that, I, I didn't know that, but I did know that Moonlight belonged to the Marvel Knights series of comics in the late '90s that was co-headed by Joe Quesada and Tim Smith with the Daredevil mm -hmm. Run, which is you know fantastic one. And I can see them doing uh, like a little cameo or like a name mention or something of the sorts, but I don't see them having that character in the show because I feel that I don't know if you've seen the, the trailer for Puncher, it's freaking bloody and there's gonna be a bunch of violence and it's gonna, it kind of looks it's a little disturbing for me at least like it's a little, it's like a little too real and you know like oh that's just the Punisher. I, it's, we need it. <laughs> you know, people say like, oh, you know, Marvel, this, this year, Marvel's not gonna do an, a real Punisher like, series or a movie. Look at this fucking shit, like, God, like, the, the amount of blood, action, war, like, it's gonna be a great depiction of the Punisher. But, you know, like you mentioned, like, uh, I thank Marvel for release, you know, having the cut to release a show because, you know, the, the Las Vegas shooting was a terrible thing. But I feel like, you know, you shouldn't compare reality to fiction, you know, exactly. there should be two different things. And, you know, <laughs> it's very, it, you know, it's, I, it's not something I will watch. You're just like, oh, I'm just gonna watch, you know, The Punisher uh, casually. It's a show that I kinda have to, you know, take in. Cause I, I don't know, cause of these couple trailers, they've been, they've been real. Right. I'm, I'm looking forward to the <laughs> show, but I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to binge watch the show. Okay. And I take a couple of breaks, you know, because a lot, a lot of violence. I'm like, okay, I, I, I need a break. I, mean, I need some something lighter in, in, uh, in tone. Well, this week we'll have Stranger Things. I'll probably binge that. Oh yes, um, you know, it comes out this week, so I'm looking forward to it. Twenty seven. Comes out the day before my birthday. Hey, nice. So you guys, tell me what you think of my rant about scrolls. <laughs> Should we have them or not? Well, guys, thank you for watching.
Peace out. Peace.